I suffer from an illness best known as senioritis. It's a highly contagious disease that affects primarily high school seniors. Symptoms include laziness, a lack of motivation, ennui, and in the very worst of cases, near constant eye rolling and repetitions of the phrase, I can't wait to be done with high school. To be honest, I was shocked when I realized that I had acquired senioritis. I've loved school since my very first day of kindergarten. I used to relish the thought of spending an entire day playing with my friends and learning new things. After school, homework was always my top priority. But senioritis has changed my life and my outlook. When my alarm clock goes off every morning, it takes every ounce of strength in my body to roll out of bed. I've been getting to school later and later, often slipping into my seat just before the bell rings. And after school, homework is the last thing on my mind. I've been procrastinating on long-term projects in a very scary way. As my senior year progresses, however, I'm realizing that senioritis isn't as bad as it seems. You see, senioritis isn't about not caring about school. It arises from the readjustment of the things I thought were important and the realization that time is short and the world is big. In less than a year, I won't be living with my family anymore. Of course, I don't want to do my math homework. I'd much rather make memories laughing at the TV with my parents or reading Harry Potter with my sister. There will be lots more math homework in college, but there won't be any family bonding time. And the ennui that's so indicative of senioritis, the boredom that creeps over me when I'm sitting in class and leads to an inattentiveness in my studies, is because I'm thinking about all the things I want to do in the town that I live in while I still can. I want to go hang out at Starbucks with my friends. It's senior year and I haven't done that yet. I want to text my mom that funny thing I heard in the hallway. I don't talk to my mom enough. I want to go out and practice driving. I'm a senior and I don't have my license yet. Senioritis also makes me anxious for the future. I'm terrified to be out in the world on my own, but I'm also excited at the prospect of all the experiences and opportunities I know I have ahead of me. I'm full of inspiration on how to decorate my dorm room and I don't even know where I'm going to college yet. I can't wait to choose what I want for dinner, to pick out my own classes, to buy my own soap. And I'm looking forward to more than just independence. I'm going to go to college. Just think of all the things I'll be able to learn. I'll be able to take classes on anything from the Aztecs to zoology. And that's not to mention all the job opportunities I'll come across, the people I'll meet, and the places I'll visit. Senioritis is more than just a set of typical teenage behaviors. It's a state of being. It's being caught between never wanting to leave home and wanting to leave right now. Having this illness has helped me realize how precious life is, how scary and exciting it can be to move on to something new, and how we have to make the most of what we have before it's gone. This isn't something that's just confined to high schoolers. It's something we all experience whenever we encounter change, whether that's getting a new job or moving to a new city. Having senioritis helps us appreciate the life we have now and look forward to the future. I can't wait to be done with high school, but I'll make the most of it while it lasts. Thank you.